I smell goodness. All right. Good morning. This morning is a waffle morning, and waffle mornings are awesome. waffle mornings. <laughs> My mother makes the most awesome waffles ever. They're super light and fluffy. Looks pretty good. This is awesome. My mother's waffles are so awesome because they're light. Because she whips up the egg whites before she puts it in and then she folds it very gently into the, the dough mix and they come out super fluffy. These are awesome, awesome waffles right here. Woohoo! <laughs> Breakfast is over, and absolutely nothing is going to top that breakfast. That was amazing. So I think I'm just going to end the video here, because I just have nothing better to show you. And I'm just going to sit here and contemplate the awesome wonders of life. kidding it's a joke I got great things to show you wait hang on this is gonna be so awesome <laughs> So, in the last month or so, I've kind of been on a little bit of a shopping spree, and I bought a few things, and I was gifted a few things, and so I wanted to show you some of the super cool stuff that I've gotten in the last month, because I think they're important, and you might want to get one of these as well. First off, I wanted to show you this cool thing. This is um, a lithium battery. This is it. A lithium battery and it will start your car <laughs> this is super cool it's a, said it's supposed to start uh, up to a six liter gas motor and a five liter diesel engine so obviously this is going to start my car very easy about it not just for myself but if I run into anyone who might need uh, assistance I can jump start their car as well Obviously, you can charge up all your electronic devices with it as well. Um, so it comes with a lot of attachments that you can uh, use to plug into it for your laptop or whatever. You can run your laptop off it. Uh, you can charge it up by plugging it in, or you can also charge it up by uh, plugging it into a 12 volt in your car while you're driving. So you can charge it back up while you're driving. Yeah, to use it, you just simply plug this into there. Another thing I've bought is conspicuity tape. You might recognize this tape from being on the back of every semi-truck trailer. I bought this, well, because safety. <laughs> I'm gonna put this across the entire back bumper of my trailer. My tail lights just aren't bright enough and so I'm going to put this over the entire bumper just like the big rigs do so that uh, I'll be more noticeable at night. I also bought this. It is the fuel filter for a Mr. Buddy heater. I bought the hose to connect to a large propane tank 
And when I bought the hose, it says I didn't need a fuel filter, but just last month I was up at that meetup and Deborah Joy's Mr. Buddy Heater had gotten plugged up and she couldn't use it. And uh, there was another guy, a city nomad, another YouTuber, who said, you absolutely have to have these. I just don't want my heater to not work when I'm in 20 degree weather. So I bought this as a precaution. This is a handle for my composting toilet. Uh, my old handle, uh, one of the prongs had broken off here. I decided to buy another one, even though the other one is still working. If the other prong breaks off, then I cannot stir the toilet. So you put it in and you do this and you stir the toilet. And basically, yeah, the toilet doesn't work if you can't stir it. So this is essential. And after two years, buying one $30 handle after two years, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty great toilet right there. So definitely not unhappy with the way that's worked out. <laughs> I bought an Alan Watts audio CD. Uh, this is a book on audio CD with him narrating and him talking. I know you've heard his voice. It's probably one of the most sampled voices in like trance and electronica. You'll hear his lectures. Uh, extremely famous in the 60s and 70s um, and it's really kind of profound stuff. I've only listened to a little bit of it but I'm super excited to listen to this with morning coffee. So I've already ripped it into mp3 and put it on my phone so I can just listen to it through my Bluetooth speaker. So I also bought a Verizon Jetpack. I got this off eBay. It's supposed to be, I believe it's like one of those grandfathered ones you're supposed to get unlimited 3G for $5 a month. Um, this was actually recommended by Caravan Carolyn. And so I went on eBay and bought it. I haven't activated it yet, so this is a future uh, thing as well. I wanna sh I'll want to show you this in the future once I activate it and get it working. Uh, but I have no real Wi-Fi on the road right now, and it's really kind of frustrating. I can't upload videos or do anything like that unless I go to a Starbucks or a library or something, and that's just been really a hassle. Now, this isn't that. This is um, some lights, so. <laughs> These are Nebo lights. Um, this is a great light. They're so heavy and heavy duty. This is a great light. It's got not just the flashlight at the end, but it has this uh, LED strip light, which is both a white light and a red light, and it flashes SOS. It also has magnets at both ends, so here's a magnet here, and there's this magnet that, on the other end that actually pokes out. So if you need to retrieve a little, um, if you need to retrieve something that's stuck somewhere, not only can this poke out, but it pokes out at angles, so this little magnet retriever is going to come in handy, I'm sure, so it's really cool. These are awesome gifts, and I'm very thankful. My friend Cindy works for Nebo. Uh, this is a bug light, a lantern and a bug light. And if you look close, there is slats where bugs can go into. And then once bugs get in there, they get zapped. And yeah, it's a bug zapper. And on the other end, of course, is a regular uh, flashlight light. Yeah, so very happy to have this as well. This is super nice. And I saved the best for last. This is the coup de gras. This is so awesome. It's a thermal cooker. And essentially what it is here, is it's a pan inside of an insulated, well, other pan or an insulated container. So here is a pot that you can cook in, and then you put it inside this insulated container with a lid on, and it will continue to cook for hours. Uh, I've heard that it loses about six degrees every hour, so if you put something in there at a few hundred degrees, it's going to stay very hot for a very long time, and I cannot wait to cook in this. So, so you can do stews, 
and soups and all sorts of stuff in there. People have done barbecue ribs. This uh, comes from Japan. I guess they're not popular in the States yet. What's really great is that obviously uh, there's no electricity. I can use this without ever being plugged in. Cooking a nice lentil stew in here. Yeah, I am so looking forward to using this sucker. This is awesome. There's some great recipes in here and if I could read Japanese, I would be doing these recipes too. Uh, there looks like a good beef stew. That's an awesome one. Super excited about this one. Came all the way from Japan. Now, we come here right at the start to an extremely important principle, which is the different points of view you get when you change your level of magnification. That is to say, you can look at something with a microscope and see it a certain way. You can look at it with a naked eye and see it in a certain way. You look at it with a telescope and you see it in another way. Now, which level of magnification is the correct one? Well, obviously, they're all correct. They're just different points of view.